So on Tuesday when Apple announced the new Apple Watches and iPhones and AirPod 3s and all the other things they talked about in the keynote, one of the things they didn't talk about was probably the coolest new feature for the Apple Watch itself. In fact, it was only as I was leaving Apple's campus that one of the reps told me about it. It was like, whoa, that is super cool. And it got no mention at all in the keynote or anywhere else. So let's talk about what it is and how it's different than the thing they did mention in the keynote. So in the AirPods Pro 3 portion of the keynote, they talked about a new feature in the fitness app that allows you to basically record your workout using just your headphones um, and your phone. So no Apple Watch or anything like that. Uh, the idea behind that is with the AirPod Pro 3 as well as the PowerBeats Pro 2, you have the optical heart rate sensor in those earbuds, allowing you to go ahead and record heart rate data. And then with this, you can record all the other data as well. Pretty cool and relatively similar to the gazillions of other apps out there that will record your data uh, on your phone. Except for the fact that this app also has Apple's new workout buddy in it as well. Once again, something that earlier this summer when they announced it as part of watchOS 26 required, well, the watch. Now it does not require that. You can even, in fact, use a heart rate strap with this without any other Apple products at all. So I got to try that out briefly outside, showing the new AirPods and whatnot and cool stuff. And as you can see right there on the screen, there's that basically workout piece there where you can record your workout. However, here's a kicker. If you were to pair an Apple Watch to that phone, at that point, that new workout page gets a whole bunch of extra features. It gets this new workout builder feature. And not just a workout builder feature, but also a place to see all of your race routes as well. So I'm just gonna simply dive through this right now and show you how it all works uh, using my phone. Now you will need iOS 26, and then in the case of wanting to structure a workout piece, you'll need some watch running watchOS 26. Uh, now iOS 26 is in public beta right now. The latest public beta has this, but as of Monday, it'll be in production and anyone can download it without any problem at all. And hey, just a quick note, if you are finding this interesting or useful, just simply watch it all the way through. That's the only thing the YouTube gods care about, and we got to keep them happy. So the first thing you do is open up the fitness app that you see right there, and at the bottom, you'll see the new workout tab. Uh, if you tap that, you're going to see you got a whole lot of things going on there. Uh, now, in my case, I've got these extra pieces because I have, again, an Apple Watch paired to this account. The piece that I want to show here is at the very bottom, but first I want to note that you can see there is the race routes right there. So I can tap open any of these rates routes that were created on my watch, or basically routes I've done over and over again. Uh, and you can see basically your person of best there, uh, as well as your most recent one. And now I don't typically tend to run exactly the same route every single time. In fact, I make a point of trying to run constantly different routes. Uh, but in this case, it's pulling up some random routes there that you can see. But if we scroll all the way to the bottom past all of my workouts that I've created over time, these are workouts that I pulled in from my watch. You'll see there's a little plus icon there. And I click the plus, and now I can create a workout. I can create, in particular, at the bottom, the custom workout. Versus the other ones are basically just calories, distance, time, and pacer. So if I tap that custom workout right there, uh, you'll see both the warm up as well as the cool down. So I can tap into warm up there, and I can choose a goal type of time, distance, or open. Open just meaning whatever you press the lap button. Uh, I'm going to do time for 10 minutes, and I'm not going to bother to set a target. I can set the target, so I'll talk about those in the next piece here. Uh, so I'll just close that out. And then I'm going to choose a cooldown. I'm going to set that to be a time-based goal as well um, for five minutes. Uh, now, I think a lot of times it makes more sense for a cooldown to simply have it be open. So if you're you know, not where you want to be or whatever, you can get back to that point in time. But in this case, I just kind of want to show how that works. There we go. And now I'll go into the work interval. So in interval workouts, you have the work interval and the other recovery interval. You can see that toggle right there between work and recovery. Uh, so the work is a part that that hurts. Uh, so in this case, I'm gonna do distance and I'm gonna do some, uh, let's see, 1600 meter ones. So I'll go down to 1600 meters. There we go. And you can change the distance type over here by that little M. I just chose uh, meters, but you can do miles, yards, or kilometers. There we go. And now I'm gonna go down and choose the target type. And I'm gonna do a uh, pace target. And let's do, let's just do, do a four minute mile. So like a 620, sorry, four minute kilometers, so like a 623 or so minute mile. There we go. Uh, now this is of course showing kilometers because that's what my account is set for. If you have it for miles, you'll see miles. You can also do a range as well. Uh, and that's a little bit more helpful if maybe you're a bit variable in your, your pace. You can just choose the range so it's not gonna be tripping at you the entire time. So there we go. Now we've got that target set and we'll go on down. You can see the intervals there. Uh, and I'm gonna add a new step, which is the recovery side. And I'm going to say it is a time-based recovery. We'll do 90 seconds, so one minute and 30 seconds. There we go. And I don't usually bother setting uh, targets for my recoveries. I just want to recover, so I'll leave that like that. Um, and then now here comes the interesting part. Now I can create a set. So you can see add repeat right there. And I can choose these two portions by just checking that little checkbox there. And I go next, and I say number of repeats. We'll do eight. There we go. And I choose confirm. 
And now you can see there's that repeat to the right hand side. It shows a little like um, circling arrows for eight. Uh, and then it shows the two components that are within that. Uh, and I can do the same thing again. I can add another step. So I maybe want to do, you know, eight by, sorry, eight by 1600s and then do some 400s after that or whatever the case is. I can also create those rotating, uh, repeating portions in multiple sets if I wanted to. Uh, now, when it comes to like the cycling side, for example, uh, you can also choose those targets. So if I go back here, I'll just choose target for recovery. Uh, you'll see there's pace, heart rate, cadence, and power. Uh, and then for all of these, I can choose different stuff. So for example, heart rate, I have the zones there. I can choose a custom range at the bottom if I want instead, just a, a set value. Uh, for cadence, I got the value as well as the range again. Uh, and the same also for power. Uh, I can choose current power or average power. In fact, cadence supported average power as well. Um, and that gives basically average over that particular lap set or that split. Uh, and then down the bottom there, you got your value uh, and your range. And so uh, we're not gonna bother in this case putting that in. I guess we are, but we're gonna get rid of that up top there. No target. And then uh, I'm gonna give it a name here. We're gonna call this at the top. So I just tap where it says new custom workout. I'm gonna say demo, right, eight by 1600 meters. There we go. And then check this out. At the top here, you'll see this. Um, and this will automatically sync to my watch uh, virtually instantly. Uh, in fact, I can probably just go right now and check it out. I've got to unlock my watch from jumping in the water. And right there at the very top, you can already see it demo eight by 1600. Uh, so super cool, instantaneously sync there. You can also share it as well. So check this out. I tap that open and I choose a dot, dot, dot in the upper right hand corner. I choose share workout. And now I can share this to anyone I want to. And so in this case, I texted the earlier workout I created at 8x800s uh, to Des, and he was able to open up. In fact, the moment he opened up in his app, uh, it automatically synced it to his Apple Watch, which again, is a super nice little touch. Uh, so it's cool that you can share these. Uh, now, of course, creating structured workouts on the Apple Watch is not new. Uh, something that Apple announced two years ago as part of the Watch OS that was coming out that year, allowing third-party platforms like Training Peaks and a gazillion others to push workouts to your watch. And that works great, except for the fact that most of those platforms and apps you have to pay for, and now you don't. So if you want a way to quickly get workouts on at your watch, you can do that. Uh, it's really too bad Apple didn't include this in the keynote. And I get that like they have a gazillion things to include in that hour and a half to two hours, uh, but this would have taken like three seconds. And I think it's a, it's a pretty big deal. Anyways, there is a boatload more sports tech coming up over the next seven days, uh, a disturbing amount. In fact, it's basically on par with the disturbing amount this past week, but next week repeat it all over again. So definitely hit subscribe if you're not already, because there is a ton more to come. With that, have a good one.